This is a video tutorial on how to make the original quad twisted easel card which I developed on the 27th of July last year. It was sent in an email to Create and Craft on the 29th and lo and behold on the 5th of August last year someone had actually put it up as their own tutorial. However, it is not the same one that I have done. I am going to make a quad twisted easel. What you will need, a base card, it has to be square. All your design has to be square or this will not work. So that's my base card which measures 8 inches by 8 inches. I then have four equal strips of card. Each of these measures 4 inches by 8 inches. Three are scored directly down the middle and then from the bottom corner to the top corner so that it will fold back like that. We'll just score the last one. Which is that one there. As Kay Rutter says, little and often and then line it up from the bottom to the top corner. This is to do with the way that we want the card to fold. So I now have four pieces that are equally scored and folded. I also have four toppers that I have made from the Gems Designs Underworld CD, which is where the backing papers and the base card have come from. I've printed these onto photo paper and then decoupage them. The mats themselves are using the Cheery Lin Lace Heart Square Mega Doily. So I have four of those, all in different designs. So I'm going to take the base card and put it face down. And then I am going to start interleaving these so that you can see how the design is going to build. Basically it's going like the old cardboard box lids when you fold them in together. Okay, so it's going to go like this. Under one, over the next. So that will be the base design. Now as each of my four pieces are different and each of my four toppers are different, I am just going to quickly match these so that the design matches the base, which is when it will be pulled up. So that's the wrong one to show you. If I try this one here, this will match the design underneath this one here. Okay, so I'm just basically going to do some sticking now. you only stick the unscored square down. Making sure my design is up the right way around and trying to get it as straight as it possibly can go. Like that. Hold it back, put the next one in. Again, I'm only sticking the unscored square. If you want to do it six by six, then you need to do your measurements at three inches by six inches. And the last one. OK. 
Okay, so now I have four lifty uppy flappy bits, four main designs. This design here is obviously going to show the woman sitting on the rock, so that's the one that I want to put on this corner here. Bearing in mind that this is a filigree mat, I'm going to steer clear of using the edge, but will stick directly along the line. The card itself needs to stand like that, so my design needs to go in like that. Okay, so it's actually going the wrong way. So the next one is the Ice Lady. Again, make sure that it goes in at the right angle. Each of these base mats of pearlescent card measures 4 inches by 4 inches. And this next one here is the Fallen Angel. goes like that. Let's fold that one back out of the way and this very last one is going to be that woman there. So that is now all four of my designs in. As you can see that's how it looks not an awful lot at the moment. If, however, I start to pull all these up to the maximum that they will fold. Okay, and the last one. Come on. That one there. So they're all standing up as far as they will go. And then start to let them go. They will actually rest on each other. And there is your finished card. With no stoppers. The only other thing that you can add if you want to, which I have cut out, prepared, ready for sticking on if I need them, are some little scrolls. This card does not need any stoppers. This card is quite solid. This is the inside of the card. If I can just angle the camera a little bit. As you can see, there are no stoppers on this card. It does not need any. The base of the card I've left as a blank 8x8 square which can be decorated as and when required. All these images are from the Gems Designs Underworld CD and I think that these look absolutely stunning mounted in this manner. As you turn it, each of the designs faces outwards but like I say, there are no stoppers with this design. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a go at it yourself. Thank you. Bye.